<laughs> this is Toby Schreiber, aka The Righteous Russia. I am going to try and experiment with vlogging, video vlogging, as opposed to written vlogging. Writing is my passion, however, I'm having trouble finding enough time to really write in depth about the things that concern me. Um, it's quite tedious, it's quite time consuming, and I'm hoping that through the videos I will be able to bring more material to my followers. Followers, I sound like a cult leader. Um, and for an inaugural post, what I wanted to talk about was something that really doesn't happen at all in the Jewish community, so it's a little bit strange for me to be discussing it, but it's something that has concerned me for a while, and that is the evangelical Christian fundamentalist phenomenon of a purity ball, which I'm sure many of you have heard about. It was founded by Randy Wilson and his wife. Um, they saw that there are many young women in the world who don't have a close relationship with their fathers or with a male authority figure in their life, and they felt that this was what was causing teenage promiscuity, uh, unintended pregnancies, things like that, and they believed that if fathers could spend more time with their daughters and show them that they were beautiful, that they would not run to young men around them for um, validation. And so what these events are is that the daughter will get dressed in a beautiful dress, like a prom dress, and she'll get her hair all done up, and uh, she'll wear makeup and jewelry and a tiara sometimes, and the father will dress in a tux or a tuxedo, and they go to this event and they dance together, and often there's a ceremony with a big wooden cross. Um, and then they also sign this covenant, which states that the daughter will remain pure until marriage and that the father will be the high priest of the home or there, there's all different variations of it but it's it's a, it's a patriarchal and I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way but it is a patriarchal document where the father is showing that there's authority and there's headship over the daughter and so forth and I wanted to talk about that because the underlying issues that provide the basis for this phenomenon are repulsive. I don't have another word to describe it. Um, first of all, the word purity is, it can refer to physical purity, you know, like um, the Pure Food and Drug Act, which was passed at the beginning of the 20th century, you know, and things of that nature, but um, in general, the word purity is a moral judgment. It refers to somebody's goodness, their ethics, their moral quality, their character, how much they're worth as a person. The idea that in this case purity is used as a synonym for not having had a penis inside one's vagina is really disgusting. You can't measure a person's moral worth, their value, based on whether or not they've had sexual intercourse based on whether or not their hymen is intact, based on whether or not certain parts of their anatomy have come into contact with certain parts of a man's anatomy. That whole idea is just so insulting and offensive and really has no place in a society where women have equal rights and equal treatment or at least striving for these things. The second issue is Randy Wilson will frequently give interviews about this purity ball movement, and he'll say women need validation from their fathers that they're beautiful, so that way they won't run to young men and tell them that they're beautiful and consequently, you know, have sex with them and stuff. But women don't need validation from men. This whole idea that women need to be validated by men is itself a very sexist idea and nonsensical. I don't determine my self-worth based on whether or not a man finds me beautiful. I determine my self-worth based on the things that I do and the things that I think and other things like that. I could go into detail, but I won't. Sure, if my dad, when I was a little girl, saw me in a pretty dress and said, you look pretty today, of course I'd be happy. But you know what would make me more happy? The times that he would say, wow, you wrote a really good paper, or I saw you talking with your friend the other day and you were, or 
arguing and you had such a good argument or um, thank you for helping with the dishes or you know things that involve intellect things that involve character things that involve work ethic qualities that a person has to develop on their own whereas beauty is an externality really and physical beauty is something that is not something that a person obtains via working on themselves it's something that they just possess and so it's really not a quality that needs to be weighed so heavily and the last thing I want to talk about is frankly something that people say is very very obvious when they talk about purity balls <laughs> I'm sorry um, this is the promotion of emotional incest no doubt about it um, it's the promotion of, of Freud's Electra complex in which a young girl is in love with her father and possibly is sexually attracted to him. It's the promotion of the idea that a girl's sexuality, her body, belongs to her father until she magically gives it to her husband. As a matter of fact, many of these conservative Christians will give their daughters a piece of jewelry like a pendant that goes around the neck that has a heart with a keyhole in it and the father owns the key and then at the wedding the groom is given the key and he unlocks the heart to show that now he owns her heart I <sighs> these attempts to to supposedly glorify women and to show women how much the men in their lives value them simply objectify them by making things into ceremonies in which the women sign covenants that they will remain pure and the father will be the authority in their life I don't see how that values women. I don't see how that does anything but objectify women and turn them into commodities which are only valued for their virginity. Why does purity have to be defined by a, a sex act? Or I should say lack of a sex act. Anyway, that's what I think and you're certainly free to disagree. Um, please leave your feedback below or you're free to leave it on my blog. Um, that's righteousrussia.blogspot.com and let's see if this video blogging thing works. Thanks. <laughs>